How to Hire a Qualified SEO Expert in Reno. Hello, I'm Sandy Raleigh. I'm the leading SEO expert in the Reno, Nevada area. I have the best reviews in the state of Nevada. Won a lot of awards. Been doing this since 1999. That's enough about me, um, but let's move forward. So whenever I'm um, sending out SEO quotes for businesses in the Reno area, I make sure to include um, a little bit of information that teaches the person how to vet or qualify either an SEO expert or SEO company. It's super important. Um, so here's the thing with SEO. Um, if, if you haven't been in the SEO industry for a while, there are a lot of things that you can be tricked with. So it's, it's very frustrating um, to be, you know, as an SEO expert, excuse me, uh, to be competing with other SEO companies that are not uh, doing things correctly, all right? They're not doing the best that they can for their clients, so on and so forth. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist in this area. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to just start educating anyone that calls or anyone that emails and asks for help with SEO on how to do this. So it's simple. It takes about five minutes. So I'm going to try and make this video really short for you or this audio. So I want you to go to Google and um, search for Reno SEO. And I want you to pay attention to whether you're signed in to Gmail email or not. Because if you're signed into Google with your Gmail email, in the top right-hand corner, you'll see a circle with an image on it. It might be a picture of you or the first letter uh, of your name. Like my name is Sandy Raleigh, so if I didn't have an image on my Gmail account icon, it would say I have the letter S for Sandy. So if you're signed in, the search results, not all the time, but maybe 60-70% of the time are going to be skewed. You're only going to see websites that it, you either visited in the past or some other parameters. So it's not a true search. So if you want to verify that an SEO company actually uses SEO to get customers, what you need to do is go into incognito mode with your browser, of course. We don't need you to astral project anywhere, but <laughs> in the top right-hand corner, there's three um, vertical dots. If you click that, it'll give you more options. The first or second option is something called open a new incognito or an invisible browser window. So you click that. Once it opens up, then type in google.com, then do a search for Reno SEO. And then notice what search results come up. A Reno SEO expert, a Reno SEO company, whatever, you know, variation that you want to use. The first results will be ads at the top. It, there might not be any ads. There might be three to five ads. That Those companies that are listed in those ads did not use SEO to rank for that keyword phrase. They cheated a little bit. They used pay-per-click ads. So if you click on those ads, they have to pay Google anywhere from $5 to four or $500 a click, depending on what cities they're targeting. It's It can be really that competitive. And most of those companies are not local companies, especially if you want to work with a local SEO expert. It's important for you to know that this person actually exists, you know where their office is located. If that's important to you, you probably don't want to go with ads. All right. So if you look at the top positions that say ad next to them, you automatically know that that company did not use SEO to rank for that keyword. So you want to scroll down to the free click section, the organic section, where the people that actually did do SEO to rank for those positions. So that's one quick, easy way to, to at least validate that that company that you search for could do SEO for their own companies at least, all right? Obviously, the next thing you want to do is sort by reviews. Who has the most reviews? Who has the best overall reviews? That's the next most important step. Yes, there are companies that can get fake reviews, but Google does a pretty good job at filtering those out, especially 
um, if they're buying a lot of those reviews. You might have one or two fake reviews, like my website, you know, my company, Reno SEO Marketing and Web Design, has a couple of those. And they were spammers trying to get me to hire them. <laughs> and I couldn't get them removed. Um, but for the most part, I have over 70 reviews. Um, I have, gosh, 137 reviews scattered throughout the internet. Uh, but on Google, I have about 70. So most of those are real businesses that you can actually call up and say, how did you do? Blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever. So that's the next step. You want to make sure you're working with a company that has done a lot of work in the SEO industry. They're still doing a lot of work in the SEO industry and they didn't use black hat SEO. I really don't like this white hat, black hat thing. I think it's kind of screwy. Um, I'm going to start calling it negative SEO and positive <laughs> SEO. So negative SEO, at times there are companies that can do negative SEO and rank for competitive keywords like Reno SEO, that keyword phrase is a competitive keyword. There's thousands of people that search for it every month. Um, for a little while, these spam companies can rank high, like maybe a couple of weeks, and then they drop in rankings. Um, and more and more of those companies are disappearing. But for the most part, if you see a company that has a lot of reviews, you know, 30, 40 or more reviews that are good, um, you know that you have a company that's active, they're actually still doing this service. The next thing that you want to look at, if you really want to dig deeper, is to scroll down past the Google Map area and see who's listed there. The top three positions, whoever ranks in those top three positions, they are actively doing SEO to be there. And our company is usually number one or number two. Um, we might get knocked off of our throne for a couple of weeks, but then we go to battle and we outrank whoever's ranking us, uh, you know, outranking us for whatever keyword phrase. Um, some of the smaller search terms like SEO Reno NV, where there's like 10 people a month, I don't really target that because I feel like it's a waste of time. So we might be position five or six for that. But if the big keywords that matter, like Reno SEO, we're at the top more than once. We're on the first page of Google at least twice, if not more than that, if you count the directories that we're listed in as well. So we've been doing SEO since 1999. We're a small firm located in Reno, Nevada. Um, most of our clients are in Northern Nevada, but we have a handful of clients all over the country. Um, we, for the most part, have pretty good reviews. We've upset a few people over the years that, you know, they had to share their two cents and, you know, it's America, what are you going to do? <laughs> it's a good thing. You have the freedom to do that. Um, so, but for the most part, we do a pretty good job. So if you need help with SEO, which if you have a business, you always need help with SEO, I'd be happy to talk with you, give you 15 minutes just to give you an overview of where you're at. Um, I'll also walk you through how to use another strategy to vet SEO companies. Um, and to help keep SEO experts honest whenever you do start working with them. All right. Hey, have a good day. This is Sandy Raleigh with Reno Web Designer. Have a good day.